this is Liverpool Calling and this is your weekly roundup of news from the Eurovision Song Contest. We've got loads to get through this week, so let's get straight into it. Moving first to the United Kingdom, where the BBC have got in very early and announced their representative. Former Yeah 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 singer and It's a Sin actor, Oli Alexander, was unveiled during the grand final of Strictly Come Dancing last week. We don't know what the song is yet, but we have been told it's not going to be a ballad. And speaking of songs that won't be ballads, the Swiss have announced on Instagram that they will not be sending a male ballad this year, even though they've qualified for the final with a male ballad for the last three years. Over in Albania, the FIK 62 competition has been running all week and we are down to the final 24 songs. They will perform tonight and a phone vote will decide who is going to Sweden. In Lithuania, they have announced the 40 songs that will be taking part in their national final over five semi-finals and a grand final in February. There's a few former Eurovision participants with the roof being the most recent. And Croatia have got former participants taking part in Dora as well, with Let3 being one of the 24 participants for their competition. And Serbia have got a former participant as well, with Kunstrafta being one of the 28 contestants taking part in their competition. News in brief, the allocation draw for the competition will take place on January the 30th in Malmö. San Remo have finalised their lineup. Anka will be the 11th wildcard into the Ukrainian Vidbeer competition. And SBT have announced the stage with a 360 degree stage cutting right through the middle of the audience. That's the lot. I'll see you soon. And if you celebrate Christmas, have a great one. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.